Hello again. So the 15 minute timer just went off and uh, I think maybe I said it a little late. It's 10.20 a.m. And I'm waiting for the hot water to get hot and the cold water to get cold. So the cold water is still in the freezer. So, and that reminds me, I'm going to take two more waters. And I probably should do three, but I'm going to take two out, put them in the refrigerator for Kurt, for Curtis's meds. Uh... Huh. I was sitting on the shelf in the... I... I... I have no idea. None. All right, so we have a place to put... The jello is all set up. Um, and then we are going to start on the Mexican lasagna. I'm so excited. All right, so this water just went off. And I'm going to go one cup. This is a half a cup, so we're going to do two half cups. And then we'll take a spoon. And very gently just kind of pass back and forth. You can see the jello on the bottom of the bowl and the hot water. You do not want to add any cold water until the hot water has completely dissolved the jello. And there's you you don't feel no more grittiness with the spoon on the bottom of it. So I and this is the exact same bowl too. So this bowl was from my mother, and this is the bowl I, I made jello for her in. She hates, she loved jello. She wasn't eating much at the end, you know, but she did like the jello. And if you go smooth enough like this, um, and don't make any sudden movements, then you're gonna not have any bubbles in your jello. And if you do, just right around the rim. Right now I have zero bubbles in there. I believe everything's dissolved. Well, we're pretty good there. Okay, now we're going to add the cold water. And believe you me, it's very... So, something about this... No, I didn't. I Another maybe 10 minutes it would have done that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to put a cup of cold... And it's pretty cold, actually. Because um, it's a half a cup. And you got some bubbles in there. It's pretty cold. So I got some bubbles, so I'm just going to mix, slowly mix the cold water in. And try and pop all the bubbles at the same time. So the trick is to not have any bubbles on the surface of the jello. I can kind of see something in there. Yeah. Shake that off the spoon. Something must have been in the bowl when I grabbed it out or something. Of dust, or it could have been in the package as well. Things like that don't bother me. A hair here and there, take it out, move on. You know, I'll tell you what, though, <laughs> if my sister, she's the second, second oldest, <laughs> don't let a hair be in her food, or she will not eat that food. Mm -mm, no. And I get some people are like that, teach his own. But hair doesn't never bother me. It never has, really. I always thought how silly of a thing it would be to have a, a hair bother you when you can remove the hair. Especially, they're my hairs. It's my jello. Right? That's going to be some good jello. Is that sugar free kind? Unfortunately, it is not. I thought it was. 
but it's not. So let me show you what to do, what to do, what to do. So this is, oh, you know what? I do not have my, oh my gosh. I have not found my saran wrap. And that's what I need right here is saran wrap. So I'm going to try to use this. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm going to try to use it. Because I don't like my top of my gel being like the way it turns out with that kind of hard coating. So, where'd it go? Oh, it's on the floor. I am. I'm going to try and use one of these. So, I think if I just take it, grasp of it. I think this is going to work just fine. All right. So I have a piece of clear plastic here. Awesome, right? And it does fit the bowl. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to set this right on top of the gel. Like right on top and get rid of any air bubbles any air bubbles and there might be a spot over here that's not gonna it's not quite up the side of the thing right there there we are there we go that's better I got a little bit on the top that's okay when I remove the plastic it'll come off of the plastic so you want that, and you don't want any air bubbles in there. You have an air bubble. I got a little bit on the top of the plastic, which is fine. So if you have any air bubbles, though, you want to kind of get those out. And then you put it in there like that. So when you, when you get done setting the jello and pull the plastic off, there's not going to be that hard coating than if you just put it in the refrigerator without a lid or anything like that. So, you know what I can do is I can probably dry the top here a little. There's a little pool of jello right here. Okay, yeah, that looks good then. There is a little bit of a bubble right there, so let's take that out when it gets done. Then you put it in the refrigerator like this, and it doesn't have that hard coating at the top. So that's a minimum of an hour to set, more like three or four. And I'm going to put, um, no, I just threw the lid off, the cold water back and, and put it in the refrigerator for later so I can have some cold water for later. And unless I can figure out something to do with this, garbage now it's not. It's not a baggie anymore. <laughs> it's only half. Half a baggie. You but half. <laughs> All right. Jello is done. Now I am gonna go ahead and move you back. Okay, got you moved back. So we're gonna start the Mexican lasagna. I'm very excited. Um, I haven't made it in a long time, so I gotta kind of think of how to do it again. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna give it a shot. And basically what I'm doing this week is I'm gonna purge my refrigerator. So uh, purging the refrigerator is very important sometimes. And I think what we're gonna do first is we are going to make our cheese mixture to be layered and that's what we're going to start with.
so it can go back in the refrigerator and be cooled off. Um, and then make it. I don't have a lot in here, to be honest with you, and I'm not sure what this is. So let's see. What did I do today? Oh yeah, french fries. There's that burger. That's the burger. It's fries. Three beans. Yeah, that's a whole meal. I think um, I could probably leave that for him. If he does not eat it tonight, then I will feed the burger to the dog and dump the rest. Okay, so I think we're going to go with the cheese. I have no ricotta. I have no blue cheese. I have no ricotta. I have, this is what I have. So this is what we're going to use. All the cheeses and the creams. Philadelphia cream cheese. Pepper Jack. You got medium cheddar. You got sour cream. Cottage cheese. All the cheeses. So I don't have ricotta, so I'm going to use the cottage cheese. So first off, we need to soften and cool. This needs to be softened, but not warm. It does almost feel soft. I don't know why. It shouldn't. I just took it out of the refrigerator. Okay, so we're going to get this in the bowl first. And... You want to... Make sure you have enough for the whole casserole. Oh, I'm sorry, the whole lasagna. So, probably going to be using all of it, not all of the sour cream. All right, so now we're just going to get this open. Cream cheese, and this needs to be softened but not warm. So you can soften it um, in the microwave. But just go little itsy bitsy times, five seconds, ten seconds, and check it. So it's softened but not warm. And I hate to waste cream cheese. I love cream cheese. My dog is right here. Did you say cheese? <laughs> I know, Skippy. I'm gonna, I'll give you a piece of cheese, sweetie. Okay, but you have to wait, okay? Okay? No, this whole bowl is not for you. I don't know why you're getting all excited. I don't know why he's getting all excited. <laughs> I might not use both of the cottage kind of cheese. If I need the volume, I will. 10 seconds. Um, let's do 15 seconds. 15 seconds. So I think I'm going to attempt a cup of coffee now. I'm sorry, my allergies are bad. I'm telling you, it's that transition from summer to fall and fall to winter. Oh, gosh. But during the summer, they're not that bad. All right, so we're going to we're gonna fork this right up. All right. See how it's getting the, so some of it is soft and some of it is still not. Give it a second to not be warm. And then we'll put it in for about 10 more seconds. And once you get some of it soft, um, you can use that warmth to soften the rest. So you don't have to get it warm. The, the unsoftened will cool off the warm, and then the warm will soften this one. 
Right? You get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you do. We just want to mix it together. We're making our little cheese concoction for the Mexican lasagna. Oh, I'm so excited. Man, this is going to be delicious. I tell you, I do love... I do love me some cream cheese, though. I do, I do. Mm. Cream cheese bagels. Oh, so much my head. Mm. So I, I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator. Grate some cheese. I think if I can get that um, pepper grated, I'm going to put that little piece of jalapeno pepper that I have in the refrigerator in this as well. So, today is Monday. Payday is in Monday the 31st, Thursday the 3rd. So even if he gets his check on Friday, we'll still be able to pay rent in, within that grace period. We'll be fine. But um, I'll probably, hopefully, have some left for groceries. So we have um, so we'll have to have a little bit of a budget for groceries out of that as well. And the power bill. Now I don't know why I haven't paid the power bill yet. I it should have just I should have just dropped this cheese right now, turn it, pause the tape, and call the power company and pay the bill. It's thirty seven dollars not gonna break us so I'm like why why have I not paid the power bill it does not that whole thing all the cheese is gonna go in here it's gonna get all mixed up in the bowl as well so we can just keep emptying it into the bowl all the and I yeah I'm gonna go ahead and grade some I'm gonna grade that half that little tiny piece of jalapeno pepper that I have in there into the cheese mixture as well. Rustling around. Don't forget me, Ma. Don't forget me. Get me down there. Stop. Stop grading. The rest is mine. <laughs> you don't want a piece of cheese, sweetie. Hmm? Oh, that was good, huh? Do another piece. <laughs> and you have to smell it. It doesn't press me at all. <laughs> Even though I kind of joke about it. It's traumatizing that I have lied to him and he knows it and I continuously do it over and over and over <laughs> and last night my husband got up like he was going to go to bed I said oh hey Skippy I think dad's going to bed he did not even budge Looking at Dad, well, I said, "Babe, you going to bed?" As soon as he said, "Yeah," <laughs> he jumped off the couch and got his little toy and ran to the bedroom. <laughs> Didn't believe me. <laughs> uh oh, you okay? We missed. We missed. I'm, I'm his, I'm a bad influence on him. That's for sure. Why not? That wasn't as much cheese as I thought, but no, we got plenty. That's fine. 
we're good. If I don't feel we have enough, then I can go get some real quick when he gets home before I put it in the oven. I don't think we have any cheese anywhere else. I have some grated cheese in the freezer for a while. That was, I might do that again. Here, oh, you missed it. <laughs> but yeah, I might do that again where I grate a, buy like a five pound thing of each and grate a bunch of cheese and put it in the freezer. So then if I ever want grated cheese, I just take it out. Cheese, cheese does freeze well. It gets all crumbly, but if you grate it first, not so much crumbling, you know what I mean? It's grated. You don't want to, here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to put a block of cheese in the freezer to keep it for a while, then take it out of the freezer and expect to cut slices with that cheese. Because cheese is crumbly when it comes out of the freezer like that. So, what you want to do is you want to slice it or grate it or put it into the shape that you want. Even cheese ball, whatever. Right, whatever you make. And then freeze that. So, you want some grated, frozen grated cheese, you grate the cheese. And then you... Alright, this is going to be a good mixture, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Put one of these in here. I don't really like the water that comes up on it. I'm weird about cottage cheese, so if I were to eat a thing of cottage cheese, I have no problem with it. So these these containers I can eat about half. And then I won't eat any of the rest. So I need to eat the top layer of the cream cheese. And then I don't eat, or I mean the cottage cheese. And then I don't eat any of the rest. And that's just because I, I'm weird. I'm just weird that way. And then so I buy these little tiny ones so I can waste less. So... I would love to just open this one and eat the top layer and put the rest of it in here, which I might do. I might even take a little bite of that. But I wouldn't eat anything below the top layer of cottage cheese. I never have. I don't like it. Weird, right? I mean, Smoking. All right, so we're going to put some sour cream in there. Uh, not to contaminate the sour cream. Yeah, see that moisture right there? I don't like that. I don't like it in the cottage cheese. I don't like it in the sour cream. I know they say don't mix. I just mix like the top layer. And then. And so we want to keep some of this for afterwards we want to actually have enough to top it as well so i'm gonna put a couple of that one big nice spoonful in here and then maybe a half yeah so about one and a half <laughs> no like a half a cup that's what i'm saying so about a half <laughs> now sour cream i can eat that anytime anywhere i love it all right so we're gonna put that in there and even though this is a cheese mixture for the Mexican lasagna, we are still, in fact, going to add some pepper. And we add some salt. Keep mixing it. We, what we don't want to see is any of the grated cheese dry. Chunks of dry are stuck together great. You want it all nice and coated with the sour cream and the cream cheese and the, so it looks kind of like this. <laughs> it's very thick. 
I put a little bit more of that in there. I am going to grate that pepper. Definitely going to grate that pepper into the bowl. So let me grab that and get that done. I sure did. I got to put a smudge on it. Do we want um I'm just gonna remove the seeds. Proven to be di more difficult than I had anticipated. <laughs> we'll see what I got here. Oh, I got some. That'll go in. That'll go in. I can maybe get a little more out of it. I could just get a little more. Smush air. Mm. Yes. Okay, fine. One more little seed there. All right. I know there's some still some in there. I hopefully will not forget to uh, remnants <laughs> I do we want every little speck in that bowl except for that seed no seeds allowed Honestly, I just don't know. Okay, so we're gonna just try and chop this in fine chop as well, so we can put this in there as well. It's mostly skin, but I think I can get there. But it is mostly skin. I will have to scrub my hands a couple of times and please don't touch your face, Lisa. Don't, don't touch your face. Don't do it. No. So we're going to get this fine chop. Real good. Alright, it's not perfect. Get, oh darn it, you know, I 
I should have done the grater before. I... My finger is burning really, really bad. Why do I continuously do that, Skippy? Why? <laughs> your hair, is your hair bugging you? It's in your eyes. I'll do a little trim on that later, huh? Maybe a little trim on that later. Okay, so my finger is burning because it's got pepper juice in my sore. Um, next. Oh, that's, I knew it was something. Opening brightness. What the fuck? That's my other phone. I'm the only one home. I'm not kidding. Right? Did you guys see that orb in my last video? Going in front of that black refrigerator there? Boy, when I moved down to the other unit, I had a, a home security system. And I figured, well, why not, right? Just because I moved doesn't mean I shouldn't use it until I was getting it shut off. But I had like three weeks after we moved. Still in the contract that I paid for. So I set up the cameras. I was just not even going to set up the cameras. I had them in the box to be returned and everything. I said, you know, I, guess I still have three weeks. I paid for three more weeks. I'm going to use it. And you would not believe they would go right through the walls. I'm not kidding. It was the coolest thing. I'm going to look up and see if I still have that footage. But they would go right through. They'd come from that wall over there and come right through this kitchen wall and exit right through that wall. Like if it's going through a wall, like this one right here, I can physically see it go through the wall. I can stand at the end of the wall and see both sides of the wall. Because it's a, a middle wall. It's it's uh, like the load bearing wall, you know? And they were going, I was like, oh, that's a, no, that can't possibly be dust. Dust does not go through walls. So I am going to have to cut up some other things um, on this cutting board. So I'm just going to wipe it real quick with some soapy water and then rinse and we'll be on our way to cutting the other stuff up. Onions and we got some red peppers. Like I said, we're going to purge. We're purging the refrigerator. Anything that we can put into this dish, it's going in the dish. It's, that's what kind of dish this is. You can just, you know. That uh, pound of hamburger that I'm going to get going here in a minute. And oh, yeah, this looks delicious. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and add the other one of these and probably some more sour cream. You would think I want to put it in there, and I probably should put it in there. I just, I just can't do it. I cannot do it. Mm -mm, no. And I don't even really want the. Because this one had extra fluid on the top. So I'll put it in here. I'll be fine eating it in here. But not, not just a bite off the top like I was planning on. Which is fine. It's no big deal. Oh, darn. That's why I use so much, so much, so much dishes constantly. Okay, so we're going to do a nice, one nice, this is about half full still. One more of those in there. And then we have half that for dinner tonight with the lasagna. Oh yeah, that's much better. That we need to have enough to have two, at least two layers of cheese uh, in the pan. So that's, yeah, we're looking good now. So if I cut that in half, that's about a, one nice layer. So we should get two nice layers out of it. Cross our fucking fingers. That's all I can say. All right, so now we're done with that. Oh boy, look at that. Oh, let's see. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's delicious. Okay. This can go back in the refrigerator. I am full on touch. I touch everything. 
It's just me and my husband, and he don't care what germs I put in the food. He kisses me, I kiss him. We pass germs all the time. I don't know his view on hair, though. I was talking to my oldest daughter once. I said, oh, man, I think I got a hair in this, and I can't find it. She goes, that's okay, Mom. Just He'll just take it out. I said, what do you mean? She goes, oh, do you know how many hairs I've taken out? And I said, no, tell me. She goes, a lot <laughs> over the years. I said, I said, honey, why haven't you never said anything to me? Well, no, it's fine, Mom. Everything was fine with her. So, am I going to miss my daughter? Yeah, probably. Um, I talked to her about messing up because, you know, she's transitioning. So I've, I've really got to try and say, say him and he. And so the whole thing is, is, how much do you love your kids, right? I don't think what my view on that is even a factor. Like, I don't really care about that, right? You want to transition, transition, do whatever you want. You be you, boo, as long as it makes you happy and healthy, right? So, that said, if I mess up, it's just because I have spent the better part of my life raising her and calling her a her so for 37 30 you know 38 years whatever right and so that just that habit just doesn't go away so I apologize every time I've messed up my best friend and my husband are doing better than I am at it not mentally doing better but just better remembering him her his he you know and not Andrea, but his his name now. And he changed his last name. So they both have changed their last name to one last name. And in my opinion, it's the coolest one in the family. So why not pick that one? Why not pick it? Some people think it's disrespectful, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. All right, we're going to cover this, and I don't have any, I, I suppose I could put foil on there. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it, because I am weird about foil and sheets. Don't, don't, don't. Yep, so this is going over the top of the foil, or underneath the foil. So I can still cover it up, and the... Cheese will not be touched by the foil. That's why, that's where I have the problem is the foil touching the cheese. I, don't ask. I have no idea. No clue. I have these little quirks, you know. And one of the quirks is bubbles in my jello. Little <laughs> bubbles and hard, little hard pieces in my jello. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make a, a sink of hot water. We're getting some dishes piled up here, and we are going to shot. Hot water in the basin. Get the hot water in the basin. And I think we're done with this. I don't know. Oh, you know that might be that I ran out and didn't fill it all the way. That could be. Yep. Yep, that's it. Right. So I'm going to put what I have in here. I think that's just my last. <laughs> it's my last soapy face. And, uh -oh. I don't have any. If I don't have any, I don't have any. These dishes will wait until I have some. So I'll go, go over to run over the store and get some. If I don't have enough to get through the next couple of days. not much. So let's see what I got. Uh-oh. Oh no. Oh no. That's not going to work. That is not going to fucking work, is it? Let's quickly now. Oh, there we go. 
Um, that might last. That might last me two days. A little bit there. If I can get the rest of this to come out, and then this will be rinsed and recycled. Doing that part of my life, I think it's just boring. Digging through the trash and getting all the plastic out. <laughs> okay, so here we are. That might give us a couple of days, you think? Yeah? It's a little tiny bit. But I thought I was going through extra soap because of the way I was doing the dishes. But now, I might not be. I don't know. Now I don't know. I could do a, a tester, put a start date and end date for one bottle using just the basin and then a start date and end date. And I could do half and half, half a bottle, half a bottle. Because I can weigh it and make them exactly even. <laughs> so I don't mind doing that. And do a test. The only way I can do a test in the, of the water is to have huge buckets because the water that's wasted at this place is ridiculous. You know what they said about my shower? Oh, there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, call a fucking plumber. Call that plumber back that was here before we moved in. And say, um, the problem's not fixed. Hello? Have them come tear out the wall. I don't care. I don't want to pay for it, but I want it fixed. And I'd rather have my wall tore out for a week or two weeks, not be able to shower at all, and then have it fixed, then waste all of this amount of water for, what, eternity until they decide to pay for it? It needs to be done now. I'm sorry your owner uh, doesn't want to spend the money because he's a fucking slumlord. He or she, whoever. Um, I just don't see how or why you would want to waste thousands of dollars a month in wasted water. Not to mention the fact that, um, hello, we're wasting water. It's not just about how much water got wasted. It's about actually wasting the water. What if we run out of water? Because this complex is wasted upwards of $2,000 per unit a month. They're not making any money. So I don't know what their problem is. They should fix the problem so they can make money on these and not lose money on these. But they do lose money, but then that gives them that tax break as well. So gain or lose, whatever. It's yin or yang. You know what I mean? But you want, you, you want tenants to want to live here not to cry every day because their shit don't work right. You know? Like, I I can deal with it. And I could probably fix it on my own. I probably will. Who knows? I'll watch a couple of videos and decide if I'm going to do it. Alright, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Um, we are going to do... of this onion and uh, we're going to go ahead and cut up some peppers too. Look at this red one. I really like the red. That's a tomato. And we'll put those. We'll put some of these together. I got to check out the rest of that. I'm going to chop up the tomatoes and sprinkle them on at least have one layer. You won't even know they're there. So this onion here, um, I am not sure which one to put in the burger and which one to sprinkle. They're both going to get cooked because it's going in the oven, so it doesn't matter. I'll put this one, because this is the one I'm used to putting in the meat. Got a little bit of a heart there left over. 
how that will go in. Um, let's grab that pound of hamburger. What you doing? Can I move, please? You're, you're, I'm not done cooking, and you're sniffing. <laughs> and you're sniffing. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and start this one up here. Pour the hamburger. trying hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying very hard not to drop and make loud baby noises. A little bit of a little bit of butter. I've already used five or six spoons. I'm just gonna keep going through them until I don't have any more left. And my knife should be in here because Away. I'm on a mission. All right, that should be good enough. I put all my clothes in this one bowl. I broke them all up and put all my clothes in here. What I'm going to do. exactly why I put it in a bowl in the fridge. Now my husband, he just sits it on the bowl. Anyways, um, this is, this will go in when it's ready. It's not ready yet. I might just take this off the burner for a second. I am not quite ready and I don't want to rush with the garlic. where we want the heat though, we'll just leave that on. I just want to finish the garlic and 
some peace and not have to rush so the onions don't get burnt. And my knife needs to be sharpened. You can tell it's not. set of knives. This is really the only knife I have. I have some other ones, but they're just, I have steak knives and bread knives and but for chopping and dicing, this is really good, I know. And it's not mine. That's my son's. I'm sure he would say, yeah, go ahead and have one. But there we are. And then that's close enough as well. Down a little bit. I didn't even get that one. Whatever. It don't matter. It don't matter to me. the meat a little bit of a taco flavor. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Just some seasonings and whatnot. Which will give it that flavor. Which I love that flavor, so I do not mind. And these are just about ready. Garlic browns very fast. So gotta get the meat in there here. so weird because that thing usually comes off too but now I think they're sticking them down now so they don't come off. Alright. You can actually leave it like that some of that caramelization going on the meat um, for, a, for a few minutes. But you don't want the garlic, what you don't want is the garlic to burn. So you want to get it mixed in with meat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh, I lost them. Uh -oh. There we are. There we are. That is not what I need. Oh, you know, I could have done this with a wooden spoon as well. I probably will. Just say, okay, well, I got this dirty, whatever, I'm not going to use it. And use a wooden spoon. This is what I'm going to do. This one will stay out. I think I want to do some more. I think it's good. No. I like this the best. I would have got some good caramelization on that meat. That's good. Stuff is falling out the pan. And I probably will not drain the meat. I always get the low fat, a 93.7 or something like that. That's what I get. That smells really bad. Yeah, that, that garlic is very pungent. I love garlic though. Alright. Some seasonings here. Uh, let's see, we're going to do some pepper. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 